Not on that count. I ask for his return under international law to stand court-martial for a civil crime punishable in every country of the world in peace or in war by death. The crime of rape and murder. Well, what do you want me to do? I wish you to sign this letter personally recommending his return as an assurance to British headquarters that there is a legitimate basis for trial. I can't do that, sir. I won't. You must do it, Captain. It is your duty. But I tell you, Digby's incapable of such a thing. He will be given a chance to clear himself. He'll have a fair trial. No, sir, I'm sorry, I can't. If you refuse, Captain, I shall have to return the men to the status at which I found them. Bread and water, no freedom, no exercise. I have so informed British headquarters. But those men are innocent. Why should they have to suffer? I have no alternative. I am responsible. The girl was murdered in this camp. Besides, the evidence against Digby is purely circumstantial. But I repeat, here is his coat found near the body. And here is a letter addressed to him. If he can prove his innocence, he will suffer no penalty of any kind. Visit it, Captain. 